which reading do you want me to do? joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. 
for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I soar in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, my way, my truth, my life, such a way as gives us breath, such a truth as ends all strife, such a life as gives my strength, such a light as shows a feast, such a feast as man's in length, such a strength as makes his guest. up, Lord, and come to my aid. O Lord, plead my cause against my foes. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise to help me. O Lord, say to my soul, I am your salvation. But my soul shall be joyful in the Lord and rejoice in his salvation. My whole being will say, Lord, who is like you, who rescue the weak from the strong, and the poor from the oppressor. Lying witnesses arise, and accuse me unjustly. They repay me evil for good. My soul is forlorn. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> All power, O Lord, stand by me and defend me, when they were sick, I went into mourning, afflicted with fasting. My prayer was ever on my lips, <clears throat> as for a brother or friend. I went as a mourning a mother, bowed down with grief. Now that I am in trouble, they gather, <clears throat> they gather and mock me. They take me by surprise and strike me, and tear me to pieces. They provoke <coughs> me with mockery on mockery, and gnash their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My tongue will speak of your goodness all the day long. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Come to my rescue. 
save my life from this raging beast, my soul from these lions. I will thank you in the great assembly. Amid the throng I will praise you. Do not let my lying foes rejoice over me. Do not let those who hate me unjustly wink eyes at each other. O Lord, you have seen, do not be silent, do not stand afar off. Awake, stir to my defense, to my cause, O God. Let there be joy for those who love my cause, let them say without end. Great is the Lord who delights in the peace of his servant. Then my tongue shall speak of your justice all day long of your grace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My Son, take my words to heart. Do as I say, and you will live. letter to the Galatians. Stand firm and do not take on yourselves the yoke of slavery a second time. Pay close attention to me, Paul, when I tell you that if you have yourself circumcised, Christ will be in no use to you. I point out once more to you all who receive circumcision that they are bound to the law in its entirety. Any of you who seek your justification in the law have severed yourselves from Christ and fall from God's favor. It is the spirit that we eagerly await the justification we hope for, and only faith can yield it. If Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor the lack of it counts for anything, only faith which expresses itself through love. You were progressing so very well. Who diverted you from the path of truth? Such enticement does not come from him who calls you. A little yeast can affect entire dough. I trust that in the Lord you will not adopt a different view. May condemnation fall on whoever it is that is unsettling you. As for me, brothers, if I am still preaching circumcision, why do the attacks on me continue? If I were, the cross would be a stumbling block no more. Would that those who are troubling you might go to the whole way and castrate themselves. My brothers, remember that you have been called to live in freedom, not a freedom that gives free reign to the flesh. Out of love, place yourselves at one another's service. The whole law has found its fulfillment in this one saying, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. If you go on fighting and tearing one another to pieces, take care, you will end up in mutual destruction. My point is that you should live in accord with the spirit and you will not yield to the cravings of the flesh. The flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. The two are directly opposed. That is why you do not do what your will intends. If you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. It is so obvious, it is, it is obvious what proceeds from the flesh, lewd conduct, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hostilities, bickery, jealousy, outbursts of rage, selfish rivalries, dissensions, factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I have warned you before, those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patient endurance, kindness, generosity, faith, mildness, and chastity. 
Against such there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh, flesh with his passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's lead. If you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The signs of the Spirit's presence are love, joy, and peace. Since we live by the Spirit, let him direct our lives. The signs of the Spirit's presence are love, joy, and peace. From a sermon by St. Leo the Great, Pope. Our Lord Jesus Christ, born true man without ever ceasing to be true God, began in his person a new creation, and by the manner of his birth gave man a spiritual origin. What mind can grasp this mystery? What tongue can fittingly recount this gift of love? Guilt becomes innocence, old becomes new, Strangers are adopted, and outsiders are made heirs. Rouse yourself, man, and recognize the dignity of your nature. Remember that you were made in God's image, though corrupted in Adam, that image has been restored in Christ. Use creatures as they should be used, the earth, the sea, the sky, the air, the springs, and the rivers. Give praise and glory to their Creator, for all that you find beautiful and wonderful in them. See with your bodily eyes the light that shines on earth, but embrace with your whole soul and all your affections the true light which enlightens every man who comes into this world. Speaking of this light, the prophet said, Draw close to him, and let his light shine upon you, and, let, and your face will not blush with shame. If we are indeed the temple of God, and if the Spirit of God lives in us, then what every believer has within himself is greater than what he admires in the skies. Our words and exhortations are not intended to make you disdain God's work or think there is anything contrary to your faith in creation. For the good God has himself made all things good. What we do ask is that you use reasonably and with moderation all the marvelous creatures which adorn this world. As the Apostle says, the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. For we are born in the present only to be reborn in the future. Our attachment, therefore, should not be to the transitory. Instead, we must be intent upon the eternal. Let us think of how divine grace has transformed our earthly natures so that we may contemplate more closely our heavenly hope. We hear the apostles say, You are dead, and your life is hidden within Christ in God. But when Christ your life appears, then you will also appear in glory with him, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. I will sing a new song to you, O God. I will sing to you and play on the ten-string lyre. You are my God, I give you praise. My God, I give thanks to you. I will sing to you and play on the ten-string lyre.
Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offense is truly, I know that. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your way, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spare. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Knows that put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him, those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols, and pray to gods that cannot see. Come here and declare in council together, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree, 
and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord our justice and power. Me for him in shame shall come, all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out for joy to the Lord of the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks, enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the letter to the Ephesians, Never let evil talk past your lips. Say only the good things men need to hear, things that will really help them. Do nothing that will sadden the Holy Spirit, with whom you were sealed against the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, all passion and anger, harsh words, slander and malice of every kind. In place of these, be kind to one another, compassionate and mutually forgiving, just as God has forgiven you in Christ. At daybreak, be merciful to me. At daybreak, be merciful to me. Make known to me the path that I must walk. Be merciful to me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. At daybreak, be merciful to me. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. 
in the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Through his cross, the Lord Jesus brought salvation to the human race. We adore him, and in faith we call out to him, Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Christ, rising sun, warm us with your rays, and, res and restrain us from every evil impulse. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Keep guard over our thoughts, words, and actions, and make us pleasing in your sight this day. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Turn your gaze from our sinfulness and cleanse us from our iniquities. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Through your cross and resurrection, fill us with the consolation of the Spirit. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Father, you conquer the darkness of ignorance by the light of your word. Strengthen within our hearts the faith you have given us. Let not temptation ever quench the fire that your love has kindled within us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. O Lord, open my lips. O God, come to my assistance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony of Jesus in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sin, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging of Jesus at the pillar. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning of Jesus with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. 
and Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The first sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weep in this valley of tears. Turn thy most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, showing to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, as purchase for us the reward of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. The same Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful depart with the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O come, let us worship God, and bow low before the God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. 
Continuing in Our Lady of Lourdes Novena, we come before the Lord seeking healing of body and spirit, and we call to mind our sins, preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Kings. Jeroboam left Jerusalem, and the prophet Ahiah the Shilonite met him on the road. The two were alone in the area, and the prophet was wearing a new cloak. Ahiah took off his new cloak, tore it into twelve pieces, and said to Jeroboam, Take ten pieces for yourself. The Lord, the God of Israel, says, I will tear away the kingdom from Solomon's grasp, and I will give you ten of the tribes. One tribe shall remain to him for the sake of David my servant and of Jerusalem, the city I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Israel went into rebellion against David's house to this day. The word of the Lord. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall, your worship, shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walked accordingly in their own counsels. If only my people would hear me, and Israel would walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies. Against their foes I would turn my hand. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment, and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears, and spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned, and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord.
continuing in our Lady of Lourdes Novena, the homily will take place after Mass. Let us now turn to the Lord with our petitions. We pray for the whole church that she will grow in faith, hope, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. For those participating in the Our Lady of Lourdes Novena and for their intentions, let us pray to the Lord. For, heart, for hearts that have been hardened by sin or addiction, that the Lord will soften these hearts, let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering from any kind of disease, that they will receive healing of body and spirit, let us pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. The Masses today are being offered for Mary Margaret Powers and for the deceased Dominicans, family, friends, benefactors, and those resting here. Let us pray to the Lord. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that, we may that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be consoled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall have their fill. For those joining at a distance, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, thou Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls.
You would turn to page 13. And pray along with me. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, you are the refuge of sinners, the health of the sick, and the comfort of the afflicted. You know my wants, my troubles, and my sufferings. By your appearance at the Grotto of Lourdes, you made it a privileged sanctuary where your favors are given to people streaming to it from the whole world. Over the years, countless sufferers have obtained the cure for their infirmities, whether of soul, mind, or body. Therefore, I come to you with St. Jude as my patron to implore your motherly intercession. Obtain, O loving mother, the grant of my request. Through gratitude for your favors, I will endeavor to imitate your virtues that I may one day share in your glory. Amen. Saint Jude, glorious apostle, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of difficult and desperate cases. Pray for me who am in need of God's mercy. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help was almost despaired of. Come to my assistance of this great need, that I may receive the consolation and help of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly. And that I may praise God with you and all the elect throughout all eternity. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor. I will honor you as my special and powerful patron and encourage devotion to you. Saint Jude, pray for us and for all who honor and invoke thy aid. Amen. From the appearances of our Blessed Mother of Lourdes to Saint Bernadette. Today is the only day when a priest is present, Father Antoine Desiree. Bernadette began with the sign of the cross, starts praying the rosary, and continues with the penitential gestures, including drinking of the now free-flowing water of the spring. 
Father Antoine marvels at what he sees, but is also very conscious of the order that priests are not to be there. So he leaves after 10 minutes. When he gets back to the seminary to tell people about the day's events, people laugh at him. Her smile was beyond all description. The most skillful artist, the most consummate actor could never reduce its charm and grace. What struck me was the joy and the sadness of her face. When all of these phenomena was followed by another, it happened in a flash. Bernadette alone saw the apparition, but everyone felt her presence. Respect, silence, recollection reigned all around. Oh, how good was it to be there. I thought myself halfway to paradise. Saint Father Antoine. On this day, the first Lord's miracle recognized by the church takes place. At three in the morning, Catherine Latapie, who has a withered arm, has an inner calling to go to the water to seek healing. She is nine months pregnant and walks the seven kilometers with two of her children. Somehow, she manages to plunge her arm into the muddy water, and as soon as she takes it out, she feels a great softness come over her. She finds her fingers are now supple. She joins them together in prayer, something she had not been able to do for many years, a miracle. Then she feels labor pains come on and prays, Holy Virgin, who has just healed me, let me get back home. She gives birth 15 minutes after arriving home. In Psalm 139, David celebrates the marvel of the human body. I praise you because I am wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My very self knows you. Among the marvels of the human body, it is the ability to gather information from the universe around us by our five senses, our sight, our hearing, our smell, our touch, and our taste. These are the portals whereby the glories of God and creation flow into our minds and hearts. In fact, I think that's part of what the psalmist David celebrates in this verse. Not just our bodies, our marvels of creation, fearfully and wonderfully made, but also God's works in the universe around us, around us are amazing too. And how do we know it? Because we are able to see it and to experience it and fill our minds and hearts with the greatness of God. Because among the wonderful capacities of our body, there is this sense of hearing. The way that we receive pressure waves through the air Disturbances in the, in the air as well, our eardrums vibrate with those pressure waves and interpret the sound. By this great, amazing mechanism, we hear the beautiful world around us. The miracle that even from the womb, we hear the sound of our mother's voice, the sound of our mother's heartbeat. Then as we grow, the sounds around us of the world around us, the sounds of nature, chirping of birds, or the roar of the ocean, the sound of music are heard. He took him by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears, and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Be opened, and immediately the man's ears were opened. And the man left singing the praises of God. And that's the miracle story that we heard today in the gospel. It's the same story that has been incorporated in the rite of baptism when the priest touches the baby's ear or someone else in their mouth saying, the Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word in your mouth to proclaim his faith. This is a story about our lives with the Lord, and today we know that there is great noise in our lives. It's an interesting word, noise. It even sounds bad. Say the word long enough and you get a headache, and there is so much noise we know in our lives 
but not just in the sound of, of sound, not just in the sense of sound. There is that noise in that sense of disturbance. The radio, the TV, our phones, the kids, the neighbors, the continual worrying about tomorrow, the hanging on to all the battles we have had in our past. And Jesus that day took the man away from the crowd, away from the noise, and he took him that he might have a personal encounter with him. Christ calls us away from the crowd too, around the noise, to bring us to his silence. That quiet before the Lord is so important. That time to get away from the noise so he can touch us. And he touched the man's ears. Be open. Christ calls us to hear. Hear the small voice Elijah heard whispering that God loves us and has a plan and a purpose for each one of us. Hear the whisper of Jesus on the cross telling us in the darkest moments of our lives that we will get through together. Hear the voice of our Blessed Mother reassuring the concerned wine steward at the wedding feast of Cana and assuring us as well, do whatever he tells you. Hear the voice of our conscience within calling us to a new life in the Lord's love, calling each of us to holiness. Hear the word of God, alive in scripture, proclaimed in the church, proclaimed by the church. Hear the word proclaimed when we speak words of love. Hear the word of God. He touches our ears and says, be open. He touches our mouth and says, be open. He tells us not to be afraid and to stand up for our beliefs, to stand up for our lifestyle, even if we are told that they are not in concert with modern society. Christ says to us, I need your voices. Christ says to us, I need you to proclaim that I am alive. He opens our mouths to proclaim his praise to the world, and he draws us away from the crowd. Even though Jesus asked him, and those around him, he proclaimed what had happened. He does the same for us, to hear his words and to proclaim his love. Now there is another particular devotion that holds special place in the hearts of believers, and that's the veneration of our Blessed Mother as the health of the sick. Because we know, and that's why we're here throughout the centuries, Catholics have turned to our Blessed Mother for intercession and solace, especially in the times of illness. And this profound devotion emphasizes her role as the ultimate healer, both physically and spiritually bringing comfort and hope to the afflicted. Our Lady teaches us, and better yet reminds us in Lourdes about her son's desire to heal not just our sins, but also our many physical, emotional, and spiritual ailments. Our Lady asked Saint Bernadette to wash herself in the waters of the spring and pointed to a place where there was just a little puddle. She dug there and got on her knees put mud on her face. And people must have, must have thought that day she must have been crazier than they thought. But then that day, the puddle would grow and trickle and then a full stream was revealed. And in that cold, crisp waters of the stream, many have been healed. Those that have been medically vetted, but many, many more that have not been reported. And moreover, that title of Mary, the mother of the sick, signifies her compassion that extends beyond all our ailments. She is seen as the one who heals our bodies, but also our soul, and offers us comfort and strength and guidance to everyone who is suffering. We believe that when we seek her intercession, she intercedes with her son on our behalf alleviating our comfort and our struggles. It's interesting that the iconography that is associated with this 
devotion of Mary, the health of the sick, how it further illustrates this devotion. Paintings and images depict Mary cradling and or holding a small handkerchief symbolizing healing. And that imagery reinforces the belief that our Blessed Mother not only empathizes with the sick, but she actively participates in their healing. And so when we invoke that title, Catholics, we place our trust in her maternal care and her healing power. There is little doubt that in the spring of water, so prominent in the feature of Lourdes, is a cleansing of our body and souls from the sin and its ravages. A symbol of baptism renewed in faith and penance a renewal of faith in face of our lives by the Spirit who hovered over the waters at the beginning of creation, overshadowed by our Blessed Mother when she consented to be the mother of our Redeemer. Remember, my brothers and sisters, as you go on this day, that Jesus Christ came to dwell on earth, that he heals so many, that, he, that many approached him in faith, and our Christ, our Savior, continues to want to heal all of us, even today. May all of you have a blessed day.